Oh, we on? We're on. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another unboxing haul. It's not an uh, kind of a haul. It's a big haul. We have some things to talk about. Um, we're sacrificing precious dead space time to do this. So I hope you appreciate it. So we'll do we'll do these two things first. Um, this is kind of like an accidental purchase, but I have some plans for this. So there's some there's a lot of plans in the pipeline. Uh, we'll go over this one quick. I've got a new mic now. I've got the Razer Siren Mini. Absolutely incredible mic. Um, I really I wanted an upgrade. I was originally using a Blue Snowball. It's that's a great mic. You know, it does the job. Um, but I'm really trying to put a lot of time and effort and energy into my videos from now on. And, you know, if I can start making tiny little upgrades to my setup here and there, you know, make it feel a little bit more high end, you know, I'm going to try. And that's where that comes in. So I've heard a lot of good things about this Razer Siren Mini. And I've started playing through Dead Space 2. Uh, and I've just been going back through some of the gameplay, through some of the episodes. And the quality of this is crazy. It's really, really good. And for £50, I really haven't, you know, I really haven't spent much to get that. So that's that. All right. Uh, how am I going to open this without leaking my address? Good question. That way, you can't see it. Bang. So it doesn't come in a flashy box or anything. There's really not much here. So, this is, like I said, it's the accidental purchase. But there, as you can tell, it is a boom arm. Um, I cannot tell you off the top of my head what boom arm it is. I just searched up on Amazon... Uh, Razor Siren Mini Boom Arm, and this is what came up. So that's all the stuff that comes with it. Um, yeah, I might upgrade. I might. Uh, I may put that on there yet. Well, I'm not sure. We'll see. But like I said, I have plans for this anyway. So even if I don't end up using this right away, it will be getting used at some point. I want to kind of. I really want to spice up my setup and do some good things for that. So let's get on to the game. We've got a little bit of everything here. And you know, as is customary on the channel. And first off, we have a PSP game. SOCOM Fireteam Bravo 2. Um kind of struggling with PSP and Vita games, I'll be honest with you, because one, there's not many, and the PS Vita is ridiculously overpriced when it comes to the gaming kind of side of it. And a lot of the games I refuse to pay the amount that people seem to want for them. So, you know, every time I see a PSP game or a Vita game going, I will, uh, I'll definitely pick one up. And £3 really isn't too bad. So, I've yet to play any of the SOCOM games on my PSP. Um, but for £3, you know, if it sits on the shelf for however long and then I eventually get around to it, brilliant. If I don't, then, you know, here's what it is. It is what it is. So what have we got next? We'll do the ones that we have the least of first, shall we? Seems like a good idea to me. Right, I've got one PC game. And it's a game called Crimes of War. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. I haven't. It was a pound. It's a World War game set in the Second World War. Hitler is hiding in his Führer bunker, knowing full well that he has found himself in a hopeless situation. However, the highest ranking SS officers decide to execute a risky plan. Could be good, could be bad, I don't know. For a pound, though. <coughs> you know. <coughs> if it's bad, it's bad. Yeah, just the game and the manual and the cover. So, you know, we're building up our PC shelf. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing on PC at the moment, so I'm not going to complain with another game to play. 
Right, next up we have Vikings Walls of Midgard. Four pound. Can't complain really. Fight terrifying fiends and master mighty weapons in Vikings Wolves of Midgard. Save your world now in two player online co op. <laughs> Action RPG. Four pound. Never heard of this game actually. Uh, oh, nice. We have the covers too. Okay. We have, what's this? A map. Poster. Poster. Oh, I love some posters. Look at that. That looks quite nice. Sorry about the line. I'm doing this really late. That's quite cool. Uh, I prefer the other one, but there's that one too. So yeah, um, I, I need to use my Xbox a bit more. It's just kind of the, the way my setup is. It's kind of a pain to do at the moment. So I will get round to it. Um, I'm just kind of struggling for space at the moment, so, you know, I will get around to setting up and doing as much as I can, really, because I, I, yeah, ideally I'd like to be doing bits on everything. Next up, Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. This is the hardened edition, and this one is really cool. So, I saw the price, a fiver. Can't complain. At that, we get a really good-looking steelbook. I love that art on that. That looks awesome to me. That looks incredible. Black Ops 3 was such a good game. Uh, it's got a sticker on it, so I'm not going to sit here for hours and peel the stickers off. But another thing that came in this, which was really cool, come with this. Now these are like operator car... Oh no. What have you done that for? Quick. Right, no one will know. You didn't see that. Uh, they're operator cards, so you know the operators that we could play in the multiplayer. This is them, and I think this looks really cool. These would look great in frames, so I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get some frames for them because I think they look awesome. And it's got, you know, the the, uh, the bios and what they are and what they use. And I think that looks so cool. So yeah, we have them as well. So yeah, the only reason I picked that up was really for the steelbook. I wasn't expecting to get, you know, when, when I buy stuff like that pre-owned, you don't really expect a whole lot because, you know, a lot of people don't really look after their stuff and then they just trade it in for a few pounds. We've got a banging case. I want to start playing zombies again. So, you know, I'm like Prestige Master on the PlayStation. So maybe I can, you know, do like a stream to Prestige Master on the Xbox. Maybe. We'll see. Right, on the subject of Xbox, we'll do Xbox and then we'll do the PlayStation. So we've got six games here for the, the 360. So this is quite cool. So we have the entire Mass Effect franchise in steelbook form. Now, <clears throat> I'm not a massive Mass Effect fan. I've played one and two. I've never played three. Uh, I thought they were all right. I didn't think they were anything like incredibly spectacular. You know, I don't think you're missing out a lot if you don't play them. But they're not terrible games. You know, they're definitely worse games. Jesus. But pound fifty, pound fifty, pound fifty for steel books. You know, you can't really complain at that price. And this comes with a tin. So, admittedly, there isn't very much in said tin. Uh, we have that. We have the games. Let's see, we've got Mass Effect and then the Collector's Edition bonus disc. We have the manual. And then we have this. So this is a future Imagine. So I'm guessing this is an art book. Yeah. Stuff like this is really cool. You know, I, I've said it before. With stuff like this, I don't mind spending a few extra pounds if I'm getting some of the art books. And, you know, I think stuff like this, I mean... It's definitely gone out of you know fashion nowadays. I don't. It's very rare that you're going to see stuff like this. We still get the steel books. You know, the person is giving me all the discs. So that's Mass Effect Two. That didn't come with any manuals or anything. And this is Mass Effect Three. And that just comes with you know, is what it is. But yeah, like the actual tins and like some of these really cool collectibles. I mean, the only one I've seen go ridiculously crazy as of recently was hogwarts legacy with their like ultimate was it collector's edition it was like 300 pound which is a bit ridiculous but 
you did get quite a bit in this massive box. Stuff like that. I love that. I would I happily have paid 80, 90 pound for a dead space tin with a bunch of goodies in it. Happily. You know, that's how they're just going out of fashion. But three more Xbox 360 games. We have one here called Beowulf, the game. I think that's a movie. I'm not too sure, but <clears throat> lead an army of up to 12 Thanes as you increase your heroic experience, <clears throat> unleash your carnal fury, determine your legacy, grab and fight. Never heard of it. It was a pound. It'll be good or bad. I don't know. I like my fantasy games. So yeah, that's that. The other one we have, well, we have two more. Prototype. A lot of people say very good things about this game. You are Alex Mercer, the prototype, an ultimate shape-shifting weapon with no memory or no mercy. Hunt your way to the heart of the conspiracy. But yeah, I've heard lots of good things about this game. For a pound fifty, uh, I will hold judgment until I've played it. But one thing I've learned, it's very rare that you'll see very, very good games go for, you know, very cheap. But that's why I don't mind this kind of stuff, you know. <clears throat> I was trying to explain to my retard of a brother about stuff like this, you know. I'm lucky enough and I'm in a good enough position in my life where I own all of the consoles that I, you know, that I can. I have a PS5, PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, a PC, a Switch, you know, I have them all. And I'm very, very lucky and I'm very, very grateful to be able to do what I do in life and my brother is the same but he's like I don't play games I couldn't play this blah 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 blah. I'm like you still live at home you have more than enough money to do stuff like this he comes upstairs and makes a comment about my shelf I have a very very stacked shelf full of games blah 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 I will never ever be bored right and if I ever say that I'm bored I give Caitlin permission to punch me in the nose and jab me in the throat because I honestly, I have enough games here to go through 10 more pandemics and 30 years of lockdown, don't leave the house, right? And I mean, you know, running tangents aside, like I said, I'm lucky and I'm very grateful. So stuff like this, I don't mind. The only thing that does annoy me is I have so many games to play through and I don't have enough time to do it, which sucks. There's nothing more depressing, you know. I'm trying to balance YouTube, work, my life. You know, I'm trying to be there for Kaylin. I'm trying to be there for everybody else. I want to go out on my bikes quite often. You know, blah, blah, blah. It's quite hard, but, you know, it's rewarding. And stuff like this, you know. I mean, you've seen it on the channel. I know I've gone off on a tangent. But, you know, stuff like this. I love this. I love collecting. I love showing off what I've got, you know. And I like watching people open stuff and... Go through halls and stuff like that. This kind of stuff. I love that. So yeah. Long tangent aside. Just to tell you that. I've got Resident Evil 6. Um, I'm not sure if I already have this or not. I know I have Resident Evil 5. Uh, I know next to nothing about Resident Evil. I've tried to play some of the remakes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or not. We will see. But you know. It's a shame that Xbox, are, they stopped their backwards, you know, combat compatibility program because recording on the Xbox Series X is so much easier than all of this kind of stuff, you know. The biggest thing that's put me off of doing more on the older gen stuff, I have tons of PS3 games that I'd love to play. I would love to play them, but they... Normally, I capped at 30 FPS. Now, I can bump that up in editing for, for YouTube videos. But I fucking hate playing at 30 FPS. It's painful. <clears throat> so, yeah, anyway. Now, we're on to PS3, PS4, and PS5 games. So, this one probably won't go through as as long. I'm not going to spend much time talking about this. MotoGP 08, uh, 09, 010. You know, I like my MotoGP games. No real reason for buying this other than, you know, 
It's a MotoGP game. It's quite fun for me going back and playing some of the old games to look at some of the liveries on the bikes. Because it's like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, now we have that one. Dark Sector. Now, I'm quite curious to play this because I know this was Digital Extremes. Was it Digital Extremes? Yeah. The makers of Warframe. They obviously made Dark Sector. And there's a Excalibur skin that is this guy, I believe. But as for what the game is, I have no clue. Become the ultimate weapon. The virus, the source of your power, your enemy, your power. Unleash the, the source of your pain, the, your enemy, your power. Unleash the deadly power and blave and become the hero. Could be good, could be shit. I don't know. I don't think I've heard much to good things about that, but you know, it is what it is. Dragons Dogma Dark Arise Arisen Arisen. What do you Defy the depths of darkness? With the dragon defeated and your heart reclaimed, you must now face an ancient darkness that has mysteriously arisen. <laughs> Devastating new skills and magics includes the original version of the original Dragon's Dogma battle, fire, battle terrifying new enemies. So I'm assuming this is Dragon's Dogma 2. And there's one on there as well. Includes the complete version of the original. But yeah, Dragon's Dogma. I don't know. No idea. Never played it. Right now, what time are we on? Jesus, we've been spending a lot of time talking. Heavenly Sword. It's platinum. It's the best of PlayStation. I have never heard of this before. She has very red head. Red, 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 very red hair. Jesus. Heavenly Sword, a divine weapon of the gods. No mortal can wield it without paying the ultimate price. The clan protect the sword from those who've lost for its power. Cinematic blockbuster experience in high definition. Epic combat against fearsome bosses. Character performances directed. Could be good, could be bad. I don't know. Never heard of it before. Binary Domain. Um, I think I've heard about this game, but I couldn't tell you what, what I've heard about it. But it looks like it could be really interesting. So, the lines start to blow between man and machine. You must enter 2080 Tokyo. Fight your way through the robotic defense and find who is creating the highly advanced humanoids. Uh, turn the tide of battle by earning your squad's trust. So I like games like this that have squads. I love stuff like that. I like making teams and squads and all that kind of stuff. So it might be good, it might be bad. I have heard of the game, but I've never seen or watched or played it. So I couldn't tell you if it's any good or if it's any bad. And finally, we managed to get the original Dead Space on PlayStation. So I am going to play through all of the Dead Spaces again. Going to play through Dead Space 1, 2, and 3 on the PS3. I'm going to play through them on the Xbox for the achievements. Doing it on PlayStation for the trophies. And I'm currently doing it on PC. Like I said, I have become a Dead Space fanatic. I am absolutely loving the game. I think it's incredible. And if you've not played it, do yourself a favour and go and play it. Because honestly, it's such a phenomenal game. Um... Yeah, we've already kind of spoken about Dead Space. No manual, none of that. There's no help coming. Deep deep mining ship goes dark after unearthing an artifact. I, engineer Isaac Clark embarks on a repair mission. Yeah. I'm not going to say much about it. I've already run in dribble brawl about Dead Space. I love it. Right. We have a few. I'll do this one quick. The only PS5 one we've got... Aliens Fireteam Elite. I'm actually quite looking forward to playing this. I do have this on the Xbox. I haven't played it yet. But now I have it on here. And it's a lot easier to record. So I'm definitely going to play through this. I like Aliens as a franchise. I don't think it's incredible. Uh, they've only really kind of made one game that was like really good. And that was uh, Colonial Marines. <laughs> That was a good game. Uh, no, the original um, Alien... I think it's just called Aliens vs. Predator. That one is one of the best, in my opinion. So yeah, we now have... One, two, three... Seven here. 
So we're going to try and go through these relatively quick. This one I'm looking forward to playing. We've got Insurgency Sandstorm. So that one was the most expensive one we've got here on the list. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this. I really am. I like shooters. I know this is a bit more of a hardcore-y kind of one. Uh, I don't know much about like the combat and the gameplay. Um, I know it's a PvP game. Obviously, it's multiplayer. But you've got you know, custom weapons and stuff like that. Um, very intense. Very realistic. Very... Uh, yeah, looks very, very interesting. So I'm very much looking forward to doing that. I want another multiplayer game that I can sit there and grind. You know, I miss grinding stuff like that. You know, Siege, I can only play for so long. Call of Duty's skill-based matchmaking has completely killed my, my interest to play that game. I have not played... I, you know, I haven't played COD in probably a few months now. And I don't think I will again. Um... Yeah, they've completely killed that franchise for me. So we'll see what goes on with that. Um, I think if there's skill-based matchmaking in the next Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty series for me is dead and I'm no longer interested. Unless it's got zombies in it. So yeah. Uh, we Happy Few on the PS4. This one I was really interested to play because I don't think I've seen many people play it. And it's kind of cool. It has, it's a very, very uh, dark, dark kind of commentary game in that, like, a lot of people in the game take these pills that make them happy. And if you don't, you're considered a downer and you're chucked into this, like, poor part, I guess, of this thing. And I just think that's cool because there's a lot of, you know, real world kind of intricacies in that so yeah you know, that is what it is anyway yeah looking forward to that one i'm going to put these two together even though they're not related because i didn't get these from the usual places i get them from i got these actually my mum bought me these from a charity shop and i went to that charity shop today and the picture she sent me of all the games unfortunately has all gone so that was a bit depressing but the last of us remastered for a pound a near automata for a pound. What an absolute steal. That's ridiculous. You know, considering they're selling this game again on the PS5 for £65, you can fuck off. No way. You do not need to spend that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that. I'm not going to talk much about these two because I actually know next to nothing about near automata. I bought that because of the Yana skin in Siege. And The Last of Us, I think, is overrated as a game. I think it's a good game. I don't think it's as incredible as people say. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not good. I just think people overrate it. But I'm looking forward to watching the TV series. And I will play through it. But I don't think it's absolutely a must play. <clears throat> uh, I'll put all these I'll put these together. So we've got the Crisis Remastered Trilogy for a fiver. Now that to me sounds wrong. And I don't know if something has gone on here. But this has Crisis 1, 2 and 3 on it all remastered. So I'm looking forward to this because I really want to play through all the Crisis games again. Because I've only ever played through the original. And that was actually one of the first playthrough games I've got on the channel. And as a thing I used to do back in the day, I used to make three or four parts of a playthrough and then stop doing it. So... I was quite prone to that. In fact, you know, that, that is just something I do on the channel. But yeah, Crisis 1, I played a bit. Crisis 2 and 3, I've not played, I've never played 3. I don't think I've ever played 2, to be honest with you, but I've played 1. So I'm looking forward to that. And if I have just gotten the whole trilogy for £5, I'm not going to complain. Next up is uh, the Technomancer. So I think this is set. In the same kind of world as Outriders. Now, Outriders is a game I'd like to go and play again because I think it was alright, but I can't remember much about it, so I don't really know. But this game I know next to nothing about, but it's a sci fi RPG featuring dynamic combat when you're a tech, a formidable warrior. <laughs> And it says companions choosing between diplomacy, combat, or trickery. So it could be good, could be bad. 
sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. And it was only four pounds, so you know, is what it is. And Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, another game that I think is really overrated. Uh, I really don't think this game is incredible. Like uh, you have to buy it. But it was Fiverr, and it was part of the three for two. There was another one in the three for two, but I can't remember what it was. Mate, no, it wasn't that. What was it? Oh, it was uh, yeah, it was Black Ops. So yeah, I had to get another game, and I'm gonna play it just to see what all the fuss is about. But I yeah, like I said, I don't think it's absolutely incredible. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah. So there we go, big old hall. Wow, I spent a lot of time talking. There's a lot there. Um, the trips are becoming, I'm having to go further and further away to get some of these games. I've definitely hit the point now where it's like, this is probably going to be the last big, you know, um, kind of haul because I have just hit a point now where I don't think there's any many games left to buy. And most of them I have. So, you know, they'll still be there. But they might just become rarer and rarer. I still have a few to upload before this one even gets edited. So we have a lot of time. So, yeah. There you guys go. I hope you have enjoyed. Surgency Sandstorm. Okay. And Aliens Fire Team coming soon. I will be playing them. I'd like to start playing zombies again. I'm going to play the Dead Space series. There's just oh, there's so much here. There you go. I'm going to let you guys go. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe. If you are new around here, we do all kinds of things from uh, hauls to unboxings to gameplays to funny moments to playthroughs to reviews and sometimes occasionally to rants and raves and lots of swearing. So if all of that sounds great, please subscribe down below, you know. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. If there's anything you think I could improve. Let me know. You know. Provided you're not a dick. And when you say stuff. I will answer. You know. I answer all of my comments. When I see them. I like to think I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah. Links to all of my social medias are in the description box down below. Um, including links to my Discord. If you'd like to join the Discord and private message me. Or the Instagram if you'd like to send me a DM. You know, I try and answer all the comments I get. And yeah, it's been your boy. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one.